I've talked to most of you around the table, if I haven't, my colleagues, uh, Councillor Harrington and Councillor Burkholder, have, have spoken with you. What we have all heard over and over again is that this should not be, no one wants this to be a debate about bikes versus trucks, or freight <coughs> and the economy versus active transportation. It really, it shouldn't be a debate. Unfortunately, we have, as you just heard from Jason, very little money to distribute anywhere in the state or for that matter the country. So it ends up sounding like that, but uh, what I heard from all sides was there's, there is support for the economy, there is a real, you know, everybody sees this as critical. There's also a huge amount of support for active transportation, open <coughs> streets, the kinds of projects that we as a region have been funding through the flexible funds, transit, um, uh, Tismo, <laughs> the, the, the uh, intelligent transportation system kinds of projects. Those are the kinds of things that we don't have a lot of other sources of funding for. And so this is the this is the flexible money. We use it to be creative. We use it for things that that there that can leverage a lot of other uh, either projects or dollars to bring to the region. And this year we've said we also want this to be an, a pot of money where we can be innovative. So I didn't hear a lot of people saying, we don't want any money for green economy, we don't want any money for bikes or pets. What I heard was, what's the balance? 